Hi there, this is Alvin and welcome to kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how to boost your website uh, performance or your website speed by combining uh, JavaScript and uh, CSS files uh, using a simple WordPress plugin. Um, and so I'm using a local host version of WordPress um, and it's just a plain Jane vanilla installation that I typically use for these tutorials and like I said it's uh, hosted locally so it's not on a public domain of any sort so one of the things that you'll want to do um, is to go ahead and log in to uh, your WordPress um, admin panel and go to the dashboard and once you get there let's go ahead and go to plugins now you may be wondering uh, what does combining um, a JavaScript or CSS files have to do with in terms of speed so what I want to um, just kind of relate to you real quickly if you go to tools tools dot pingdom dot com typically what I tell most people to do is come here enter in your URL and then uh, basically you can choose a test location doesn't matter which one and then start a test and so what we'll do here, we'll just do Kickstart Commerce real quick. And essentially you go ahead and start the test and then basically it will then perform um, a series of calls basically called Performance Insights. And then it'll give you a grade. So like this is not good um, in terms of being able to um, basically what it, what this is saying is that my website is not performing that well in terms of load time and so you want this to actually load within under two seconds um, tip really sub one second um, in most cases but that being said here you can see I have uh, performance insights or suggestions combine external JavaScript combine external CSS so what this is basically stating is that I have likely multiple files, so more than two files for each of those that could actually be combined into one to uh, speed up my website. And so you can use Content Delivery Network CDNs, as they're often referred to, uh, to speed this up. Or you can do, as I'm about to show you, which is typically using a plugin. And so we'll go to Plugins and Add New. And then the plugin that we're looking for is I believe it's called JS and CSS uh, optimizer Let's see here and there it is JS and CSS script optimizer uh, so if you type in JS and CSS script optimizer, then this is the one that we're after. We'll go ahead and install it. And there are others, WP scripts and styles optimizer. But this is the one that I found to be um, most useful. And we have it already activated. And so if we come to the settings uh, and go to script optimizer, then essentially what you can do here is basically click here to enable the plugin. It'll basically give you a cache directory URL as well as a, a, a directory path that you can change. Um, so feel free to change that. You can also change the timeout. I typically leave those as is um, and essentially hit, click enable. And then uh, you can basically pick which uh, JavaScript min minifier you can use Dean Edwards Packer or the Minify by Steve Clay. I actually prefer the Minify by uh, Steve Clay. And then um, another you know, interesting thing is that you can actually ignore um, certain JavaScript files. So like jQuery or you know, jQuery UI. So essentially you would just add in the names of those files that you want to ignore and keep those as separate. Or you can also come in and say, you know, just do not combine JavaScript or combine and move all JavaScripts to the bottom or just combine all scripts in the two files uh, in the header and footer. Um, and like I said, the, the danger, I guess you'd say, 
in using something like this is oftentimes like if you have a site that has like lazy loading um, or progressive loading of any sort, sometimes combining JavaScript files. And if they're not combined in the proper order, it could actually break your site. So that's just one thing to keep in mind is that you may have to try a few of these settings and start removing files one by one until you can actually get your site functioning. Either way, what you want to hope to achieve is to get your site to a point uh, to where it's actually just loading faster and that the performance is better than what it was without having all the all of the uh, files as you know unique files or separate files. So um, it's a pretty easy plugin. You know, you can do the same thing for style sheet options. You can ignore ignore certain style sheets um, and the like. So. You'll have to play around with some of these JavaScript settings to make sure that the output options uh, don't break your site. But nevertheless, that's how you can actually, um, you know, get rid of this combined external JavaScript as well as combined external CSS performance insight suggestion, whether that's for um, Pingdom tools or even Google page uh, insights. And so with that, I hope that this tutorial has provided you insight to how to boost your web speed, website speed, load performance. Um, and so please, please, please subscribe to this channel. I drop a video or release a video every Wednesday. Sometimes I'm talking about search marketing tips and tricks. Other times I'm talking about WordPress fixes or tips and tricks. And then last but not least, I'll also talk about um, a good bit of digital strategy oftentimes pertaining to how you can use domain names to grow uh, your business or grow your organic traffic. Um, so that being said, please also visit kickstartcommerce.com um, and come here to the right hand side and sign up for the daily scoop where I share need to know digital strategy uh, approaches that I use as well as um, ones that I've discovered, the good, the bad, the ugly sign up for it so that you'll be in the know and that's it for this tutorial so thanks and that's all for now